My name is James McLinus, and uh, this is a 1931 Pierce Arrow land speed record race car. Uh, this was supposedly on the beaches of Daytona in 1931. Uh, from a little short blurb in the newspaper out in Volusia County, it said that this uh, radical streamlined car made one run and then had engine problems. Basically, it was ejecting spark plugs from a cylinder head. Uh, this particular car, I believe, was built by a gentleman named Preston Tucker, who you all may know as the Tucker car, the 1948 Tucker. Um, he worked at Pierce Arrow at the time. Uh, he was into aerodynamics. He had an airplane parts company. He had, an air, he had a contract to build a military fighter plane. And I believe he built this car, but I have no proof of it. Uh, so I'm actually offering a $1,000 reward for anybody who could prove who made this car. Uh, it has its own Facebook page. If you go Pierce Arrow Land Speed, Pierce Arrow American Pickers, it'll pop right up. Now, the, the way I found it was I was watching American Pickers back in 2012. They had an episode called Pandora's Box. And uh, Mike and Frank actually found this car. And they pull up in front of the guy's house, go over in the backyard. And before they pull up, they show Daytona Beach. Then they go to the guy's house. Well, when they got to the guy's house, they, Mike's out back. Oh, my God, a Land Speed record car in the backyard of Florida. How epic. Well, then they leave it there. And they go buy a couple of oil lamps, and, they, and I'm going, no, I want to know more about that car. And I thought, well, it'll pop up again because it's too radical. I mean, oh my God, how bizarre is it, right? So about a year later, I'm over just south of Clearwater, and I'm going down a dead-end street, and I see what looks like a 55 Nomad under a car cover. So I leave a note, the guy calls me back, he said, yeah, it's an old 55 Nomad drag car, I'll sell it to you for 1500 bucks. Well, I'll buy any Nomad for $1,500. I'll buy a nice tailgate for $1,500. <laughs> so I went over there, went around the back of the house, and there was this in the backyard. This was the house that American Pickers said was over in Daytona Beach. So I bought the car, um, got it home. I put some uh, little blurbs out on some of the websites uh, and uh, you know, saying I found the American Pickers land speed, land speed car. And then I got a call from a guy who ran the uh, St. Petersburg Festival of Speed, which is a, a race car show here in St. Petersburg they have down to the north. He goes, oh, please bring it down, please bring it down. And I said, man, it's got bugs all crawling on it, leaves falling out of it. And he said, bring it down anyway. So we drug it down there, and we had to, like, drag it off the flatbed. <clears throat> and all the other guys are cleaning their tires with toothpicks and looking over at me like, what the hell is that, you know? But it was on the grass, and my car was the only one that had no grass around it. People wore a path in the grass around this just looking at this car. And at the end of the day, they uh, called my name, and I went up front, and this car won a great big crystal trophy for the American Racing Spirit Award. And since then, it's basically been in storage with me. That's going back uh, 2012. So it's, uh, it's got a lot of history to it. I want to find out more history to it. And if anybody can come up with who made this car, it's worth a thousand bucks to it. Yeah, so tell me about the motor placement. Uh, the engine on the car is back uh, at least uh, a foot and a half, two feet, and down a foot and a half from the original corresponding place in the chassis for it. All the driver controls have been moved all the way back to just in front of the rear seat. Uh, it has a, a manifold for four carburetors. Somebody liberated the carburetors a while back. It has a, an aircraft style tachometer. And uh, on the side here, somebody built this little box right here out of aluminum with gears to take the oil and water pump shaft and put it into this box and convert it to match the aircraft's tachometer in the dash. And then the speedometer is also an aircraft and it's air speed driven. So it has a, a regular speedometer and then it has a 300 mile an hour speedometer in the dash for, from air speed. Wow. It also has very cool uh, aircraft style hinges if you, if you focus in on that, I'll open it and you'll see. You see it has a, a weird double plated mechanism in there. It also has electric door locks and it used to have a large aluminum Bombay door that was spring loaded that would open up with the pull of a handle outwards like this on, on both sides. It's complete except for its radiator that someone stole and the carburetors that someone stole. And it's actually in very good condition. It doesn't look like it because the plastic body crumbled and fell off. But this is the first plastic car that was ever built. And if you uh, look at the 1931 Pierce Arrow, Silver Arrow, you'll notice that it has the exact same body side dimensions as this car. And on my Facebook page for this car, it, uh, 
I cut the side of this off and I put it on the silver arrow and I cut the side of the silver arrow off and I put it on here so it fits perfectly so whoever did the silver, silver arrow had seen this car and that's another reason why I think it's connected to Preston Tucker but again I can't prove it.